every major content creator is a cheater. At least that's what people want you to think. And it's one of the biggest issues we've had in the last couple of years in Call of Duty, which is we have absolutely no trust for the anti-cheat. And it got worse. And honestly, I don't think that I ever thought that Ricochet could get worse, but surprisingly, it did. So, with that being said, I'm dropping into Plunder here because it's easy to sit here and talk to you all while we do it. And I'm running around with a striker and a stalker. News came out the other day that a prominent streamer by the name of Bobby Poff got banned. And everybody asked me on stream, they'd be like, hey, what do you think about Bobby Poff getting banned? And my general response to that is always, I don't know. I stay out of this because I don't really know what's going on. And I would hate to make assumptions that I don't know anything about. Which a large portion of that is... I just don't know how Ricochet works, or if it even does work. And let's be honest right now, I'm about to tell you that it probably doesn't work. So recently, and by recently I mean today for me, it'll be t yesterday for you by the time you see this. Uh, or whatever day you end up watching this, I guess I'm assuming too much of y'all seeing it exactly the day that I post it. But, that's not the point. The point is, uh, Bobby Poff and numerous other major content creators that got hit in the most recent ban wave uh, were unbanned. They went from permanent bans to no longer banned, and one of the big memes there for the longest time was there is no such thing as a false ban instead of Call of Duty, because Ricochet only uh, issues real bans for real people who, who did something to get banned for it. Well, it just turned out that there is a, a giant deficiency in Ricochet, which allowed players to go in to the back end of the game and issue bans to players just because they felt like it. Um, basically there was a couple of different ways. One of the ways it was doing it was it was just flooding players with, oh, that hurt. One of the things it was doing, it was just flooding players with false reports over and over again. Uh, so they would get shadow banned. And then there was also another one, and this one is far more evil. They were able to go into the back end and just issue permanent bans to anybody they wanted to. And there's apparently an entire thing coming out here soon from one of the, or well, from the owner of Phantom Overlay, one of the largest cheat providers that I've been obviously shown about. But he came out and said, I, I found out about this exploit. I hired this guy or encouraged this guy to ban some prominent streamers, Bobby Poff being one of them, uh, and another one by the name of Nuke Jesus. Uh, he said, hey, I want you to permaban these guys using your exploit so we can see if it works. Well, Nuke Jesus and Bobby Poff got uh, permabanned at the same time, pretty much, and the internet went wild. Obviously, every major hacker hunter known to man decided they were going to immediately uh, just completely, utterly make a million dollars off of selling people's names, despite the fact that we didn't know what was going on. But at that time, we all assumed that only uh, two ways to get banned, either A, be cheating, or B, to have something running in your uh, system that gets, flagged, get shot, that gets flagged as a cheat. You know, the only two ways. Um, well, it turns out that there is just a whole bunch of insecurities inside the game that caused this issue to where uh, you can now, that, that program could essentially not just ban you for existing because they wanted to. And that's extremely super petty and it's really, really dumb that that's even a possibility. But that means that um, he has a stream insecurity inside of their systems. And even worse than that, it means that I don't know if we're ever going to be able to real, really trust Ricochet that it's working. Because now we have to kind of back into our things and really ask, it's like, hey, how long has this insecurity been available? How long have people known about it? How long has it been being abused? And out of all the people who have been banned, um, which ones were legitimate players that got banned and which ones are not legitimate players that just got flagged at the same time. So now we have this major issue that, I mean, already had a major issue. Everybody who's been playing Call of Duty knows that the cheer epidemic has been at its largest it's been since Verdansk for quite a while. And the absolute trust in Ricochet has been at an absolute all-time low. I don't think I know a single person who's been like, oh yeah, uh, the anti-cheat's working perfectly right now. Now, not only did Modern Warfare 3 cycle end with an absolute power creep of the static and the dit here where there's absolutely no recoil on the guns, good movement speed, and insta-kills on both of them, you throw on top of it that the anti-cheat that was built specifically for the Modern Warfare 2, the Warzone 2.0 era and forward, Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone Urzikstan, is an absolute atrocity. The only way I can see forward that 
the anti-cheat will even be able to redeem itself is if we went to a kernel level uh, anti-cheat. If you're not familiar with kernel level anti-cheat, that is the one that's installed directly into the PC that basically prevents any files from running altogether. It's no longer a back-end one like how the Ricochet runs. This is one that checks your entire PC for anything that could be running as a bookend, which means it should prevent people from being able to cheat. Will it 100% never because Valorant uses one as well called Vanguard and it works really well, but it's not perfect either. But at this point, anything is better than Ricochet. So now Call of Duty has to do really one of three things. They either have to admit that their, their anti-cheat is absolutely garbage and just scrap it and go for a different anti-cheat. Call up Easy Anti-Cheat, call up Vanguard, call up anybody else because uh, just, just hire a person to sit there and just scan uh, clips or something. They go to a Vanguard system, uh, it goes Colonel, and that we just had to accept the fact that that's what we have to do now, and there's no other option. Or three, actually figure out a way to make Ricochet work. Because as of right now, Ricochet is just a fancy banner on Call of Duty that says uh, only really scan for reports. Because realistically, there should never be a moment where I have to die to a cheater twice in one round to report them once to see them get ricocheted at the final circle after watching them completely remove six other teams from the game by themselves. Like, that shouldn't take shake an additional 15 minutes after a report ban after this person is level 900 and they're just walling straight through people and just absolutely aimbotting straight to the head. Like, this, that wouldn't be happening. I've been playing Delta Force for the last uh, few days and it's been a breath of fresh air to not have to be sitting here consistently questioning whether or not the person that is shooting me through everything is cheating, has a thermal, or is just a good player. Are they using mono type ammo? Is the gun that they're using the dittier and so therefore has zero recoil and like just have zero faith at all in the uh, heat Call, of Duty, Call of Duty system. We've got Black Ops 6 coming out here soon. That airstrike was really loud. Sorry about that. Uh, we've got Black Ops 6 coming out here literally in a week. And we're at this point where I am really afraid that this is about to be the next our life of an absolutely atrocious anti-cheat and no way of having any free fair play on this game. I know pretty much what y'all are going to say, but I'm going to ask you anyways. Do you feel like the anti-cheat is doing enough? And what would you like to see out of the anti-cheat to see it improve? Um, you know what I want? I really want it to just go over to a, a kernel style where they're just going to be... They're just going to need to let it go, get into the PCs. Um, PCs are not the only way that people can cheat, but it is a prominent one and it is the most, uh, is the most abusive version of it. Uh, we nerfed to aim assist on X. I think that we'll at least get into a better line of at least understanding what is humanly possible and what is an assisted situation. I should be seeing less and less of the... That was crappy. The, uh... Oh, my spawn protection. He shouldn't get spawn protection while he can still kill me. That's dumb. A whole other problem. This is plunder. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> That's a whole other conversation for another day. Yeah. What do you think they need to do for the anti-cheat? What do you think that need to be harsher penalties? I would love for them to start receiving actual light mines. Just uh, finding the players who are caught for cheating. I'd love to see them... Wow. Again, the dits here, it's just everywhere. I'd love to see uh, monetary fines for players caught cheating. I'd love to see hardware IP bans for cheating. I want to see them uh, get forced into... I'd love to see them get forced into uh, community service. If they're going to ruin people's pastimes, they need to have their pastime ruined too. But yeah, I'm really hoping Black Ops 6 does better. Because as of right now, not looking good for us. And uh, Call of Duty having no direct competitors, I don't see how it's going to get better unless... We just stopped giving them money, and it's a little too late for the Black Ops 6 side, so hopefully uh, something gives soon. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else, peace.